Hello, my friends. Hello, Stampin' Friends. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is time for What's Up Wednesday. So I hope you guys are out there ready to come on into my studio, join me live, and hang out for a little bit and do some stamping. So I'm really excited to share with you some projects from Pansy Patch, and that's one of my favorites. I tried really, really hard to not buy it and it kept falling in my cart and I ended up buying it. I'm having so much fun with it. I really, really love it. It's much easier to work with than I had originally expected. So come on in and join me. I'm going to give a couple minutes for everyone, to, not minutes, couple, couple seconds here for everyone to come on in and join me because we have so much we need to share today. There is a lot going on in my stamp world. And so I always take time every Wednesday to come hang out with you guys virtually and share what I have going on. So there are some friends. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Hello. So come on in, give me a, a like or a love so that I know that you're on and everything's working okay. I have been having some issues with sound lately, so let me know if the sound is not coming through correctly. You will know for sure because you will not be able to understand anything that I'm saying. So if you can hear me okay, uh, the sound is definitely working. So we got some thumbs up, we got some good mornings. Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for joining me today. So let's go ahead and get rolling, okay? I have a lot to share and I'm gonna share it quick and fast, just down and dirty with what's going on here with my stamp, uh, in my stamp world. So of course you are hanging out right now on Jody Breckbill Stamp and Queen. This is my business page, but you can also hop over to my Facebook group which is Stamp with Jody B. So what that is a group that's a little bit um, more um, personal, I guess. I can do more some, more things over there and I do lots of giveaways over there. We do a fun Friday. I give away paper pumpkins. I just share a lot more over there because it's it's more like a VIP page or VIP group, not so much a stuffy Facebook page. But this is where we have to hang out. It's Jody Breckville Stampin' Queen Facebook page. So make sure that you are following this page. So you may need to go find the subscribe or the follow button and hit that and make sure that you are following along. So I see some of you guys have been here for a while and I see that you are commenting here so good for you my students are learning they are learning so well so it is summer school right now my friends and summer school does not mean that you failed stamping it means that I have special offers that run during the summer so when you are on my Facebook live you want to make sure that you comment here Okay, so if you're just coming on and you haven't done it through the comment here in the comments real quick, I go through at the end of the lives and I put you guys into my special bucket. Here is my special summer school bucket. Look at all the tickets that are in there. We have so many tickets in there. So you do get a ticket for attending my regular classes in person as well as if you're on Facebook lives. So during the summer, June, July, and August, also when you have each $30 purchase, you're going to get a ticket into the bucket. If you attend a special event, uh, perhaps maybe my virtual bingo or my wow class. Um, oh, Kathleen, that's so good. My Florida friends, Hurricane Elsa was just a bad storm. Yay, I've been, I've been hearing from my Florida friends that they were kind of battening down the hatches and getting ready for it. So glad everything is okay, glad you guys are okay. It sounds like maybe it's heading up the East Coast. I haven't really followed. Um, maybe it will give us a little bit of rain here. We need some rain. So, so glad my Florida folks are doing okay and they're, they're able to hang out with me today. Um, so back to my special events. I have a special event coming up next week too, guys, we're going to talk about. So when you do these things that are not just my normal routines, um, Christmas in July class, uh, classes to go, um, my retreats, anything along those lines that's just not quite what I do every single month, you're going to get two tickets into the drawing. Of course, if you bring a new friend along, you're going to each get three tickets. So you can bring a new friend who's never been on my Facebook page before, bring them along to the live, share their name, and then when they comment here, 
uh, they, you guys each get three tickets. Of course, if you have your own party or your own event of 150, you're going to get five tickets for that. And when you join my team, you get 10 tickets. So as you guys are new um, or coming in, make sure you're commenting here. We're doing roll call right now for summer school. So make sure you're commenting here and I'm putting a ticket in the bucket for you. So at the end of summer, I will be doing a drawing for two $25 shopping sprees. Perfect timing, right? Because we have new catalogs coming out in August. So perfect timing. All right, just a quick reminder. I'm gonna give you a couple sneaky peeks. Friday, Friday is the last day to register for Christmas in July, Super Saturday. This is Saturday, July 24th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in person in my studio. I don't have many spots left, but if my if we grow too big, I will create a second uh, a second event. We'll do two sessions. So you have until Friday, July 9th. Of course, I won't forget about you guys who can't come join me in Pennsylvania. I have to-go classes, so you can totally sign up for for a to-go class. I have two classes. First one is this adorable little um, purse, this little card purse. So this is such a fun little gifty kind of thing. And I know during the holidays, I think I showed this last time, during the holidays, you might need to have a little hostess gift or something like that, maybe a teacher gift, a spur of the moment gift. So this little purse will hold some cards. And here is a sneaky peek of one of the cards that we're gonna do. So you'll have, I think we've got four or five cards, envelopes, and they'll fit in this little purse. And then you can, of course you can get one and keep it for yourself, because why wouldn't you want this cute little purse? So you could do that, or you can make one and have them um, and you know, use them as gifts, hostess gifts, um, door prizes. I know some of you guys are demonstrators, um, so you could even do that for door prizes, stuff like that. So for those of you who are attending and um, doing to-goes, I will have a PDF for you guys. So you will have the instructions, dimensions, and how to create this project. So that's class number one. And then class number two is a Stamp-A-Stack. So we are doing four cards, and these are our four cards. So we've got these great little cards using tidings and trimmings, and the Ephemera Pack. Pray, guys, pray that the Ephemera Pack is back in stock. It is non non-orderable right now, but I keep hoping that next week it's going to be back in stock and we're going to be able to get it, but I do have a plan B, so never fear. I do have plan B if the ephemera pack is not back in stock in time. So you'll create two of all of these cards. So you're going to walk away with eight cards and envelopes, plus the classes are going to include the tidings and trimmings DSP, the role of the evergreen ribbon, holiday gems, and the ephemera pack um, is in the stamp -a stack class. So registration is open now, it ends on Friday. So if you've been thinking about it, if you're sitting on the fence, you better get your registration in because I'm gonna be ordering stuff here soon. Quick reminder that Just Cards is tonight. Just Cards virtual. So Just Cards was held yesterday in person. It's always the first Tuesday of every month. Then I come back. So if you guys are so, um, excited to hear me twice twice today it's a double day so I'm here doing live this morning and I'm gonna come back on live tonight and I'm gonna show you what we're doing at just cards class six o'clock Eastern time right here at Jody Breckbill stamp and Queen so we created some really really cute cards so I'll show you what we what we made last night quick reminder that my pampered stamper creative escape my 12-hour retreat registration is open we are darn close to being full so if you are local or you want to take a field trip and come hang out with us in Gettysburg Pennsylvania come and join us August 21st um, it is a 12 hour 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. but you can uh, grab a hotel room if you don't want to travel that late in the evening or um, you can you don't have to be at the hotel that this is held at you can go anywhere in Pennsylvania in, uh, Gettysburg. So we also do, of course, have to-go kits because we know some of you guys just can't quite make it to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. So I will be sure when this video is over in the description, there is going to be links. So there will be a link for Christmas in July and there will be a link for Pampered Stamper. So you can check that information out. Are you guys ready for summer camp? 
Everybody has their camping gear. You got your pack, your backpack, and everything you need to come to summer camp. So summer camp is next week. It starts Monday. It'll run July 12th to the 16th every day at noon. So grab your brown bag lunch, get your PB&J, and come have arts and crafts time with me at summer camp. Now, of course, it will be live every day at noon right here on this page. And I'm going to have, there's going to be daily prize patrols. I have a special offer for you guys. Of course, you're going to get summer school tickets. And then one of you lucky ducks will be camper of the week and receive a special award. So make sure you come join me every day next week at noon. Of course, if you can't be here at noon, it's okay. Everything records. You can always catch the replay. Okay, so I hope you guys are excited for summer camp. I am going to stamp with you guys. I have cool things ready to share with you guys every day next week. All right, what else do we have? Oh my gosh, there's so much. Are you still here? Are you still listening to me? Because there's so much stuff. All right, don't forget we've got our designer series paper sale going on through August 2nd, 15% off of select designer series paper. And we are going to work with a couple of those in summer camp next week, as well as today, pansy petals. We're gonna play with pansy petals. So I love designer series paper sale, love it. So save 15% on all your DSP. So hoarders, this is your sale. I know there's hoarders out there. You guys hoarders? Paper hoarders, I love my paper. Love it, love it. All right, so real quick, we have to do the obvious. Um, if you need to shop, you can jump on over to Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Up, jodybreckbill.stampinup.net. That is my online store. You can head over there 24 seven and shop anytime. So you can take advantage of the DSP sale, grab those items, check out the clearance rack. It hasn't been refreshed lately, but there are still some good deals to be had on there. So you can always check out the clearance rack. And this is your host code that you're going to put in at checkout. So if your order is over 150, don't use the host code. Okay, you are going to get host benefits at that point. So you don't wanna put the host code in, but if it's under, go ahead and add the host code. It links it up to me. And I know some of you guys are not big at online shopping and that's cool. Not a problem, just message me and I can take care of your order for you. All right, are you ready for a couple little sneaky peekies? Guess what's here, guys? So I know some of my demonstrator friends are on with me. Hopefully you guys got your complimentary copy of your catalogs. We are actually running a month behind with these catalogs and I'm okay with that. I felt like maybe it was coming just too soon. Um, but normally this catalog would be live in July, but it is actually going to go live for you guys in August and August and September celebration. So you're going to love what is in this catalog and I'm, I'm going to lie totally real right here I flipped through the PDF which is the online copy and I was like oh cute cute yeah that's cute that's cute but nothing really like jumped out at me and was like boom you gotta have this so my hard copy came and I looked through and I was like oh my gosh an online version does not do any justice to having the actual hard copy in your lap with your highlighter and your wish list and my wish list, it grew and grew and grew and grew. So I already have placed my pr a pre-order, and the first thing I got was all the yummy DSP because I do a designer series paper share every single catalog, so I had to get all the yummy DSP. Let me tell you how much I wish our designer paper was scratch and sniff because we have one called gingerbread and peppermint. We've got the peachy one. We've got the pansy one, and I'm like, oh, how cool would that be if our paper was scratch and sniff? But it's not. It just smells like paper, but it's still so yummy. So I was able to get that and of course that meant I was able to get some celebration items too so when my box gets here I did not do quick shipping because I knew I had so much else going on so I saved myself some dollars and um, it'll probably come here in the next in the next week or so so maybe next week at summer camp I'll be able to do some sneak peeks with you guys Oh, you guys agree. Yeah, a hard copy. I'm just too old school. I want the actual hard copy to flip through. So I can't show you any um, anything from the inside, but I can show you one of the little freebies that I got. Totally true, Kathleen. Yeah, I feel like the annual catalog came out 
And then all of a sudden, like the holiday would come and we just didn't have time to play with all the things from the annual. And it's so big and it's gorgeous too. So it gave us a little bit of breathing room. And I must say, I was super impressed that we really didn't see too many issues with the shipping crisis. Um, we have a couple items that we can't get just yet, but out of this whole catalog, that's not bad. So hopefully that maintains through the, through the life of this catalog that... Um, um, yes, um, Susan, you're asking if everything is okay up here, up here with me. Yes, everything is good. Um, are you a, you're a Florida girl? Um, I'm wondering if you're from Florida. So, um, anyway, all right. So let me share this little thing that fell in my cart. Ah, look at them counting sheep. So of course I wish this was cows, right? But it's okay. I'll take sheep. So this is a celebration freebie. You can get these adorable little sheeps and then there's also dyes that go with them. So this literally just came. So there's a little cute fence. We've got some clouds, sun, birthday balloons, party hat, flag, and then you can cut out your little sheep. And you could actually, ah, oh, you guys are talking to each other. The Florida girls are talking to each other. That's what I was wondering. So hopefully everybody, my Florida gals, I hope you guys are okay. Everything um, seems like things downgraded a little bit. So hopefully the Florida gals are doing just fine. So anyway, little sneaky peek, $50 you can get this, $50 you can get this. So that is a little sneak peek of counting sheep. Do you like him? He can coordinate well with last time when we had our cute little donkeys. So if you have the donkey set, you can have the sheep set and you can start building your own little farm. All right, my darlings. That was a lot of talking, right? A lot of talking. Oh, and I'm not done yet because I want to share. Okay, this is something that I'm super excited about. Um, this is a project that I am doing, and we talked last time about Sweet Grace Ministries, this ministry that I have been partnering with to provide cards. And it's a ministry in my town, uh, but it does minister all of Pennsylvania. Uh, for families that are dealing with miscarriage and infant death. So they send lots and lots of cards. Um, if you want some more information about how you can be involved with, their, with the card ministry, just let me know. But I decided I've been wanting to do a fundraiser. So how do I take what I do and what I love and make it a fundraiser to benefit um, Sweet Grace? So um, this is what I came up with. So this is going to be a class in person August 29th, I believe, at Sweet Grace from 1 to 4 p.m. So if you are local folk, I would love to have you join us for, for this class. I will offer to-go kits as well. So those who can't join or are, are not able to because you're long distance, I will have to-go versions. And I also am going to offer tutorials for sale. So if you, you can get all the supplies, so maybe you're demonstrators and you can order all the supplies yourself and you just wanna purchase the tutorial, you could just do that. And straight up, all the money for the tutorial will go direct to Sweet Grace. Um, I am gonna donate my proceeds and I have a little bit of um, adding in the class fee just so that I can make sure that I am giving back to Sweet Grace. So my goal for this class is I would like to be able to donate $1,000 to Sweet Grace. So I really hope that you guys will come alongside me and take advantage, either attend the class, um, get a to-go kit or purchase the tutorial so that we are able to help this amazing ministry. So you're going to create this cute little box, OMG. Cute little box. You're going to get the roll of pool party ribbon. You're going to get the pack of uh, artist artistry sequins. And you'll also get a pack of what a year memories and more cards. Plus there will be envelopes and a sheet of dimensionals. So the only thing that you would need to add are scissors and adhesive of choice. So this is a little pack here of what you're gonna create. So these are some of the cards. It is a non-stamping kit. So I wanted to be able to do something that could outreach to people who wanna help Sweet Grace, but don't really have a stampy or crafty background. So this was perfect. So this is non-stamping, but you guys know that as stampers and avid crafters, you guys can knock it out of the park, right? You can totally update it you can at, you know get your stamps out have a great time with it but I wanted to reach out to people who want to be a part so this um, registration is going to come out the end of the month so these are some of the cards that we are going to create totally using the memories and more kit 
roll a ribbon, and the artistry sequins. Okay, so there's probably 12, 12 or 13 cards in here. You'll get a PDF tutorial as well, so you will know how to put them together. And of course, I'll include the envelopes too um, for, for the event. Um, I may do like a Facebook Live too, and um, that way we can talk about how to make the box and do like a little tutorial for the box, either a Zoom or Facebook Live or something. But August 29th, if you are local, that is the event and in person and to go. So I hope you guys will take advantage and come alongside me in supporting this amazing, this amazing ministry. So if you have any questions or anything about that, just let me know. But I thought this is a great a great little class and I'm really excited because I should be able to uh, donate a significant amount. I'm, I'm of course giving my total income uh, from this and my goal is a thousand dollars so I'm really excited um, to be able to offer that. All right there we go so oh my gosh guys what did we forget every time Oh, I wish you guys were local too. Um, but you know what? I, I am going to do to go. And my one thought was, depending on how many people take the to go kits, I didn't know how popular this would be. So if I have a lot of to go kits, you guys, maybe we could zoom together. Maybe we could set up a zoom and that way we could, we could make our cards together or I'll share how to put the box together and just have a little bit more connection. Um, if you guys are interested, if you want to do the to go kit and then we could do a zoom with it, uh, after I do the in-person class so we'll touch base let me know what you think about that we forgot to do prize patrol oh my lanta all right so this is this week's prize patrol this is the seaside shells these are cute little stickers um so this is this week's prize patrol all you need to do is like love comment and share my video and you'll be entered into the drawing then come on back next week for what's well next week actually will be summer school so i will announce the winner um not summer school stamp camp no yes summer camp <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Um, next week will be summer camp, so I will announce the winner of this. So last week's winner, I was giving away a, a, a sample pack of the pansy petals, which is perfect because I am playing with pansies today. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, Betty Clark, it's you, my girl. So I will send this out to you. And um, the other thing, just a quick reminder to those of you guys who are new just coming on, don't forget to comment here. We are in summer school. So you need to do roll call. So just comment here and I will put your entry into the summer school drawing. Let's play, shall we? So here's what we're playing with. We've got the pansy petals, dies, pansy patch, stamp set, and of course that amazing gorgeous design of series paper. Love it, honey. All right. And that is on sale uh, till the end of the month. So let me find some things to create. All right, we're going to hope I've got everything here, but you never know what might happen. Okay, so we are going to start with an easy card. We're going to go a little bit harder, and then I'm going to jump into one of my fun fold cards that I'm offering for my pansy, um, my pansy class to go this month. So I've got my fresh freesia, and it is cut four and a quarter by 11, and then I'm just going to fold that crease there. Got a piece of Whisper White. Then ahead of time, I die cut out two tags. These are the Tailor Made Tags dies. And I probably could have told you when I first looked at that catalog, these would be a nope. N who makes tags? I'm not getting tags. And um, I've seen so many cute things. I did a whole series with the Puffins using the tags and I've really been playing with those. So super, super excited um, with about these tags. The other thing I have is a piece of the Pansy Designer Series paper. And this is, I think it's three by four. And I'm just gonna cut it into one inch strips. There we go. And I'm 
going to grab. So a lot of you guys ask me, two things you guys ask me about a lot. This silicone mat, and it is, this is a craft sheet. It is silicone rubber, and I use it a lot because it's got a little bit of cushion. Adhesive does not stick to it, and it protects my workspace. So yes, this is actually a Stampin' Up! item. It's just a little mat of silicone. So I get asked about that a lot. Um, in my videos. So I wanted to make sure to share that because I do to me. It's a little bit of a staple I use it all the time So we're gonna go ahead and attach our strips of designer series paper And I'm just going to take it right to the edge there cover up that white edge then I'm gonna just give a little bit of space in between so I can see a little bit of white showing through. And then we'll add our final, final strip here. There we go. Then we can attach that to our card base. Very, very simple card. Make sure your fold is at the right place so you don't have an upside down card. I almost just did that. There we go. Isn't that paper awesome? And I think pansies are so cute. They just, they have like the cutest little faces. All right, next thing I need is some evergreen ink. So I've got my evening evergreen ink and I'm going to stamp the wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. And that's going to go right here on the end of that tag. <clears throat> and then that tag will be layered onto the freesia tag. There we are. Couple dimensionals. Grab my pop tarts and put some of those on. You absolutely could, Kathleen. Kathleen says you can use any designer series paper. Totally. You could use the peaches. You could use the wild animals. I did not get that one. Um, the in the wild. Did you guys get that that sweet? I did not get that one. All right. So now my final step is this paper here. So this is only a little two by two. Normally it's 12 by 12 and it's a whole sheet of pansy heads. So you've got big ones and you've got little ones and the dies match them perfectly. So these two dies right here will cut out the little baby pansy and the big pansy. So you can go through and you could just die cut out tons of little pansies. Uh, then this panel or this piece right here is a big 12 by 12 and it will die cut with the leaves So you can actually use your dies to cut those little leaves out and I love that we do that It just makes me feel like I get so much more out of my paper. So look at girls. I Say girls because we don't have a gentleman on here yet you got the in the wild? I have not. I just, I, I want to, but now the holiday came and I'm like, mm, I want holiday stuff. So I did die cut out the leaves, die cut out the little pansy. Now, of course, if you don't have the dies, you could absolutely fussy cut them. Totally do a little fussy fussy. So let's go ahead and attach these together. So I'm just going to put my leaves on my pansy here. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to glue this one down solid since I already have this with dimensionals. There we go. Now, of course, what do I always say? Everything's better with bling. So I'm going to grab my ink in color jewels. These are back in stock, so yay for that. 
All right, so I told you guys two of the things you always ask about, silicone sheet and this little container. So this is one of our acetate boxes, and my friend Tamara Davis, who is made of awesome, creates these super cool little holders. So she will send you the acetate box, and then she will, um, I think she has a 3D printer or something that she uses to make this out of foam. She, of course, engraved it for me, which I love, and it holds my take, take your pick tool. So a lot of times after my videos, I always get a question of where did I get that awesome holder? And that is where it's from. Tamara Davis, you can find her on Etsy under Tada Moment. So just tell her I sent ya. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do Evergreen Gems. And I'm gonna put one Rachia. Uh-oh, that took a, took a booger with it. Okay, so there we go. Very quick and simple card using that DSP. And like I think Kathleen had said earlier, you could totally use any of the designer peeper. Be the designer peeper. You can use this peeper and you could even like do the peachy one and you could put the little um, peach here. You could also, um, <laughs> Tamara says, Tamara has a good name, huh, Tamara? Yep, you should be able to find her easy. Tell her I sent ya. Tamara's gonna go searching for Tamara. All right, let's do another card, shall we? Okay, so this project is actually one that is part of my Fun Fold July class to go. So let me show you how to create this one. This class to go is open now through July 15th. It is totally virtual, so we don't have any meeting for it. And you can do free porch pickup if you guys are local, or you can always do um, shipping, op shipping options for those of you not local. But in the class, you're going to get half a pack of the pansy paper. You're going to get the little bumblebee trinkets, and you're also going to get the pack of the Essentials Baker's Twine. Okay, so you're gonna get all of those in your class fee. And it's fun folds, which means there are four projects and you're gonna make two of every project. So total is eight projects. And we have a little free offer. So if you sign up by July 15th, we have an extra freebie that is gonna come in your class pack. So again, I'll show you the samples here in a bit. Registration will go uh, under the description in this video once it's live. All right, so I folded it again. I have four and a quarter by 11, and I have a piece of Whisper White. That's our inside. I always like to have inside so you can stamp it and make it pretty. There we go. Now I need to do a little trim here on this edge. And I have to think for a second. I'm pretty sure it's three and a quarter. I did not write it down. Why wouldn't I write it down? That would make sense, wouldn't it? And I already messed up this card. Shoot, you guys, I already messed up. So do as I say, not as I do. All right, so I'm gonna chop that off. Now, what you're gonna do is, nobody's following me along, so we need to take this off. And that's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, everybody. It's gonna be fine. All right, so that little piece that I chopped off, I'm going to die cut out. I'm gonna use those ta Taylor Tags die and I would cut one of these. So I did that ahead of time, but it's perfect. No waste, right? So I've got that and I just need to do a little fold. Um, you really don't have to measure, you totally can. Uh, maybe a half inch little fold and I'm just folding up the end. Um, you can put a score in it if you need to, but for the sake of time, I'm just folding it. Now I'm gonna put some adhesive right at the fold, and I'm just gonna tack it
right there to that white panel. Now I can go ahead and attach that. There we go. It's a buckle card. So that folds over like that and holds that panel down. So hopefully that makes sense. I didn't mess it up too bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, Kathleen, you're using my terminology and it's getting you some funky looks, huh? Yep. Pop, dot, pop tarts and snot dots. It's what's for breakfast. <laughs> All right, I've got a piece of my Pansy Designer Series paper. So I'm gonna attach that over here to the side. And I love the fact that this is like that soft sea foam background. I think that just makes these flowers just pop. Then I grabbed another little piece, and these were just little edges I, I had laying around. So it's the same, it's from the same the same uh, design, but it's the other side. And so I just threw the stripes on there just for a little contrast. There we go. And this actually, I'm pretty sure this is a card um, from a friend of mine, Meg Lovin. I think that um, I saw her do this project and I was like, sold, I love it. All right, so now I've got a little strip here. Pull in my evergreen. And we're gonna stamp a little hello from me to you. It might be a little bit longer than I need so I can always trim it off. There we go, give that a couple seconds to dry. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp the inside too. So when you do a card like this, a little bit, I need to make some more room little bit of a trick is that you don't want to stamp over here because you'll see it so either you're going to stamp along this edge or right underneath where that little buckle is going to go um so Sharon you're asking about will I die cut some of the items we need so with to go classes when they focus on a particular bundle Anything that is actually in the bundle will not be cut because you would you would fo you're focusing we're focusing on the bundle. So anything that is in the pansy bundle and stamp set, obviously nothing stamped. Um, we will give you the card the cardstock and the pieces that you need to die cut. But anything that is in the bundle is not going to be done ahead of time. So if it is something else, like say it's a tag or a shape or a punch or anything along those lines, those will be done ahead of time for you. But if, there, if the item is actually in the bundle that the class is focused around, um, it will not be pre-cut ahead of time. That way with the class, you can go ahead and you can cut out the pansy that you want um, so that if you wanna change different colors. The other thing that I haven't been doing is any embossing. So when I, there's something that is embossed, I usually don't emboss because the person getting it wants to use the embossing folder that they have. Um, some demos are using them for their own classes and so they might want to use an embossing folder that they already own. So if that's, if that's something that you ever want to have them embossed, you can always let me know. Um, but, but die cutting, if it's part of the bundle, no, it is not die cut ahead of time for you. But you do get all the pieces and parts that you needed pre-cut and ready. So that does make it a little bit easier um, to do your, your cutting because you don't have to get out your paper and do all these, all these cuts. You just have to run it through the machine. All right, so there we go. There's how that is going to go together. So I did grab, here's, here's a little homework for you guys. I took some soft succulent and I punched it out of this punch, which I cannot remember its name. And I bet one of you guys will. So I punched one of those out in the succulent. And I grabbed two pansies. So I have a big one and a little one. And I'm going to put some, we'll call them dimensionals. That's the official name, right? Put some dimensionals on there. And actually let's put this on first. So then I kind of have, I don't want it to be sticking off my card at all because then it would be hard to put in the envelope. So let's go ahead and put these pop dots on here. Let 
there we are. And I am going to snip off. It's a little bit too long. Put some there on the sentiment. There we are. Now we can do our little pansies. So there's one and we'll put its baby on here too. There's its baby. All right. So now our final step is, I just had my twine. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do this one. This is the gray granite color, because I'm gonna use white on another one. So let's do the gray on here. The black would be pretty too, I think. And I'm just gonna tie a little ribbon or a little bow through the whole of that tag. Maybe I'm going to, oops, I bumped the camera with my head. It's never a good thing. All right, so am I gonna have to tie it? I think I am. Sometimes I don't do this part. I just do the loops, but I need this one to stay. There we go. Oh, it's all flipping around on me. We might have to make it work a little bit after. I can fuss around with it later. <clears throat> Sometimes they're kind of flippy because they're rolled up on a, they're rolled on that little spool. And sometimes they're, they want to flip around. So there we go. There is our little tie and there is our buckle card. Now, one more thing I did. Oh, look, it's the only one. The bees are all gone. Oh, poor little bee. Let's, let's use you. Put you on this card so you're not in there all by yourself. So I just did a little bee, a buzzy bee right there. And now I think that's good. So we've got our little faux buckle. Now on my sample, I did, because I had to take a photo and it kept opening up. So I did put a little Velcro dot there just to hold it closed. So you could totally get that at like Walmart or Joann's or something like that. Get some little, the little magnet, um, the little magnets would hold too. So you could totally do that. All righty. I got one more card. Are you okay to hang in there with me? Hang in there and see one more. It is time to buy more bees. Yes, ma'am. I actually have a stockpile of bees because I knew I was going to love them. Okay, this one is very, very cool because we're going to use all these builders that put a pansy together. So I've got my, um, what is this? Seafoam, soft seafoam. I'm getting, be I'm getting stuck between soft succulent and soft seafoam. So I've got that four and a quarter by 11, and now I'm gonna pull in these super cool dies. These are the basic borders, and I'm gonna use this one right here that's a little stitched pointer. Let's see if Big Boss is ready to work today. All right, Mr. Big. Let's get all our parts together here. Right, so I've got a piece of the Pansy Designer Series paper. I'm loving this stripe. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to die cut that V. And it's a little tricky because that die is darn near as wide 
as your machine, so you want to be very careful putting it on that you don't have any edges sticking off the side. And it messes with you because this paper is striped. So you feel like it's not straight when it really is. So these are really, really fun dies. And they're kind of just like a sleeper in there. Like I didn't really notice them at first. And I got them and was like, ooh, these are fun. All right, where did my thing go? Let's put that away before we lose it. Okay, so we've got that panel right there. Now I have a little strip of DSP. <laughs> oh, my dog is groaning. He's had such a rough day. So I've got that strip right there and I'm gonna just mount that onto a piece of evergreen. That'll just help it pop a little bit. Hey Susan, glad you could join us. Alrighty, so now we can attach that to our little banner we created. And let's go ahead and we'll do our white. So we've got some of our white baker's twine and it's gonna be a double, it's a double. So I'm gonna attach that around the top and then we're gonna start putting our pansy together. You don't have these dies, oh no. The pansy dies or the, um, these dies, the borders dies. They're both pretty awesome. All right, now I'm just gonna put a little adhesive on the ends so they don't come flying off on me. And we can attach that to our card. Like there's a little bit of ink on there. Flip it over. There we go. Oh, the borders dies. They're pretty cool. They're really cool. There's one that makes like rick rack, which is neat. Um, a half circle. This makes like little clouds, which are fun. And um, so I haven't really, I haven't really given them their full due because there's so many things I've seen online. Um, I did. I'll show you the one. I did with the pansy. Sorry, not pansy, um, peach. So I used the little scallopy one. Isn't that cool with the peach paper? Just gives it a little something different. All right, so I did grab two pieces here to make our bow. So I'm gonna just throw this little bow on here and then we're gonna get to this pansy. So I will tell you the secret for me of doing these pansies is um, the adhesive sheets. Okay, so I did die cut these out all ahead of time. Ah, the peach card, it is pretty. There's our leaves. And our little face. The only thing that I did not do yet was I didn't cut out his little pansy nose and so I want to do that last because I don't want to lose it. It's so tiny. Look how tiny it is. So let me show you how um, to go ahead and put that together. So of course I've got my white base here. So what I did ahead of time was I put the sticker sheet, the adhesive sheets, on the back. So I, I took a piece of cardstock, laid the sticker sheet on, then I ran it through the die cut machine. I ran it through the big boss, okay? So now this is a sticker. And it might be a little futsy just trying to get the backing off, but so, so worth it, you guys. Um, I am not, in all honesty, I am not a fan of fine tip glue. 
I have a terrible time with it. I ha it keeps getting clogged and I can't get it open. So I have, I've lost three bottles of, of glue because I can't get it to stay open. So now very carefully, you could use, um, some of you guys I know like the Tombow multi-purpose. You could use that for this as well. So you're just going to line up the outline lines up perfectly. Okay, so there is Pansy Base. Now his little, I think this, he just looks like a little puppy. Put that on right there. And that's a sticker too. There we go. Now these are not stickers. I, because I wanna, I don't need them. They're, they're big enough, I can actually use a dimensional, I can use my seal, you know, they work out just fine. I did not make the big pieces. These are not stickers, but those little intricate pieces, I love the adhesive sheets for those. And this is Fresh Freesia uh, and Blackberry Bliss. Oh my gosh, come on, there we go. And then these are going to line up perfectly. There we go. But it's definitely worth the extra step. There we are. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll attach these guys together and then I'll do his little nose. I don't know why it's a nose. It's just what I call it. There we go. Looks like a pansy, huh? Sure does. There we go with his little leaves. And do do. Where's my nose? So one thing, um, Here's the little noses, and that's nice because they did give you three. Yeah, I can totally see that, buddy, that they remind you of Alice in Wonderland. They just look like they have so much character, like they should talk to you. But I think when they would talk to you, they're, they might be grumpy old men. Like, I think they kind of remind you of, like, Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> All right, so the nice thing is when you do those faces, those little noses, you get three. Grab ourselves a snot dot and we'll be ready to roll. Snot dots, there, nope, here we are. Put a little booger on there. There we go. He is so cute. All right, so dimensionals to put him together. Lots of pop dots. There we go. And then we do have to put our sentiment on, right? We need it to say something. So he's going to hang right there. Um, got my evergreen and some scrap paper. A little happy birthday. Nope, will it fit better this way? Oh my goodness. Try 
try again. There we are. And I did the green out ahead of time. So that's out of the same punch. It just made that little scallop. I'm having a hard time seeing. So I'll tell you a little secret to what I did with this one is um, I went through the designer paper and I die cut out a bunch of the leaves and a bunch of the pansy faces and then I stick them in these little empty containers. So I also, since I have some extra noses, I'll put them in there and I keep these little containers. This is what the bees were in, but I, I store things in there so that if I cut out some extra, I'm ready all the time and can just open that little container and not have to go die cut every single time. So here we go, happy birthday. And then we need some bling, do we not? Always, we need some bling. That one. There we go. So there we are, pansy number one, pansy number two, pansy number three. Adorable, right? All right, so as I said, this one is part of our fun fold class, the faux buckle card, part of the fun folds. Then we have the pop-up. So we've got this one. Oh, la la. So that's a fun card. That's part of the, the class. Then we have the bay window. Okay, so this one is just a regular card, folds flat, but then you pop it and it looks like a bay window and it sits up on your desk nice and pretty. And then of course we have my favorite, which is the explosion. So those four cards are part of July's class to go. So registration does end July 15th. And if you register by July 15th, you're going to get the supplies and the tutorial to create this super cute little window box. So you could put some cute little treats in there as a little gift. And you'll have everything that you need and a little tutorial to create that. All right, my darlings, that is all I have for you guys today. So I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me for a little bit and playing with our pansies. So as always, guys, I'm here every Wednesday, but don't forget next week is summer camp. So you're going to be joining me at noon every day right here on this page, and we are going to have so much fun next week. So I will see you on Monday.